Okay, so welcome back to One Seed, One World. Thanks for stopping by and checking out another video of the greenhouse build. Please subscribe to our channel so you can get all of our other gardening and homesteading content. Uh, and you can click on the little bell. I'm not sure which side it's on, but click on the little bell. That way you get notifications when we upload, upload new stuff. So putting walls in, now I'm gonna start working on the floor. I went to uh, the place where I get all of my stone, mulch, dirt, and even my firewood today, and they were closed for some sort of, uh, some sort of family thing. Um, so I will have to go back again when they are open so that I can get stone for the floor. The stone really is just gonna help uh, fill in around the edges where the table tops will go but down the center I am going to do some uh, stone tiles stone patio type things that uh, I had bought a whole bunch of them back in the spring after I built the deck that were originally it was going to be a section outside of the deck where we would have a big long table with this patio area but after I laid out those um, square blocks or stones or whatever you want to call them decided that I didn't really like the way they looked out there so they just kind of been sitting there ever since and I didn't know what I was going to do with them because I, I wanted to redo that area with something else now I'm building the greenhouse and I'm like hey this would make a great middle section floor for the greenhouse so I can transfer all those down here and let, get them laid out and uh, have a middle floor. Now I still have some leveling out here to do and that's what I'm getting ready to do now. Um, mainly this back corner over here is a little bit higher. I took some of the dirt off of this side and moved it down but I still definitely have some more leveling to do so I need to take this side down a little bit farther, throw it over here and then kind of rake it out and break up the big clay clumps and all that to get that going. Um, and once I get it semi-flat, then I'll start moving in the, um, the stone tile brick block things, whatever they're called. Uh, patio stones. I guess that's what they're called. They're, they're square patio stones. Um, but I think that I'll make a nice center flooring, and I think I have enough to cover most of this. I'll have to lay them out and probably adjust some things. Um, and then we'll do stone around the whole... Uh, outside along the walls and do some fill in in, in between the the patio stones um, so let's get started on that and get this floor in Okay, so these are the pavers. That was the name I was looking for, or the word I was looking for earlier. Patio stones, pavers, whatever. But these are the ones that I decided not to use for the other job, and I am going to now use them for the flooring in here. I'm putting some weed fabric down first, um, and then I've also marked off all around the edges ab about 30 inches out from all the walls to kind of give me a guideline of where I want them to lay down the center because I want the shelving that I have or, or benches or whatever you call it that goes around the whole edge of the inside of the greenhouse, I want them to be 30 inches wide. So I'm bringing them out 30 inches. And then what I will do now is kind of level as I go. I, I did rake a lot of this and break it up and, and make it much more level than it was earlier but I, I still have some little undulations and bumps and stuff in here that I'll have to work as I go. So I'm just gonna do one strip at a time and um, 
see how it goes from there. And then all the, the edges and, and the rest of it will be filled in with stone. But I think this will be a nice little walkway down the center of the greenhouse. So I'm gonna start getting these laid out. Okay, so one update is that I decided not to do the weed cloth across the whole flooring because trying to get these kind of level and lined up with the weed cloth proved to be pretty difficult. So I'm only running the weed cloth around the edges where the stones are gonna go. And then that gives me room to work with the dirt underneath of the stones a lot easier and try to get these kind of lined up down the center. So I got my first four in. Um, they're mostly level. That one there I need to make a couple of little adjustments on. But I want to kind of get them laid out and then uh, adjust them as I need to. Plus I have to remember that there will be stones around the whole edge um, and as well as some either stone or sand in between each of the blocks that are going to kind of hold them in place. So I'm just trying to get everything lined up. This is not a uh, perfect science, at least not the way that I do it. Um, I'm just trying to get it laid out so that it, it works for me. But, uh, you know, you do what works for you. <laughs> so don't judge me too harshly. So this is the flooring so far. I've added all the pavers in that I have. Uh, what I ended up deciding to do, instead of that 30 inch mark that I had all the way out, um, I had enough pavers that would actually give me an extra row along the back and one, one on each side to start up another row up the side. I am. 14 pavers short to do two more rows basically all the way up. So I think instead of getting a whole bunch of stone to fill that in, I am going to get the 14 more pavers and then just do a little stone edge around the, uh, the walls for, for drainage. And I think that will, will look pretty nice. Um, I have a little bit of stone left over and so I kind of put that in in this in this back edge here and I like the way that it looks a couple of the pavers uh, well more than a couple a few of the pavers are uh, not quite level they're a little wonky um, I'm going to leave them as is for now because it's kind of like where I had you know maybe when I was raking everything out I didn't break down a couple areas of clay and so there's like a corner that's a little higher uh, but I'm hoping that as I am working out here building the walls and walking on this a lot, it'll kind of work itself down and, and flatten out. If it doesn't, I'll make the adjustments to the, the, the pavers that, that are a little off. But overall, it's, it's coming together really well. Now, I can't get the pavers or the rest of the stone probably till next Monday or Tuesday. So I've got a few days gap before I can really completely finish the floor. So this weekend now, I'm gonna start uh, doing all the measurements on the windows. 
so that I can work out how to build the walls. And I'm really hoping if all goes well that I can get the walls up this weekend and that will be uh, the next episode, episode is doing the walls. But I have to measure all these windows first. So the main base of the floor is in. Um, There'll be some finishing touches with adding those additional pavers and the stone around the edge and then maybe a little bit of sand uh, to kind of fill in the little gaps to just tighten everything up. Um, but the floor for the most part is done. I'm glad that the bulk of the pavers are all moved because those suckers are heavy. And uh, moving them four at a time on my little dolly uh, gets to my, my old back and my old knees after a while. So glad that they're all for the most part all in. So thanks for stopping by and checking out another video. Please subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for the next episode of the greenhouse build. And I hope that whatever you are doing in your homesteads, in your neck of the woods, whether it's a build project, your gardens, growing inside, cooking, canning, dehydrating, all that good stuff. Hope it's all gone well for you. And I hope that you have a great day. Namaste.